Well, welcome to Water with Job, not Coffee with Job. This time from one of my favourite places. I think my favourite place on the whole planet that I've been to so far. Maybe Cromarty comes close, but uh, this is the Botanic Gardens in Sydney and they are go gorgeous. In fact, you can hear the noise of the birds there. I'll, I'll give you just a wee look of where we're at. So you can see around here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then all the way around here. And then like that. But we're not here to just admire the scenery. We're here to look at God's word. And let me just get my Bible. And let's see where we can go. Last time I was here, um, people came to, to ask me questions. So we'll see how we go. And we'll leave that bird just keep singing. We're on in Job chapter 29. We're talking about the prime of life. And we're talking about how Job wants to die. Verse 18, I thought I shall die in my own house. My days as numerous as the grains of sand. My roots will reach to the water and the dew will lie all night on my branches. My glory will not fade. The bow will be ever new in my hand. People listened to me expectantly, waiting in silence for my counsel. After I'd spoken, they spoke no more. My words fell gently on their ears. They waited for me as for showers and drank in my words as the spring rain. When I smiled at them, they scarcely believed it. The light of my face was precious to them. I chose the way for them and sat as their chief. I dwelt as a king among his troops. I was like one who comforts mourners. You know, just as somebody who speaks, how lovely to have that. They, they, my words fell gently on their ears. Isn't that a wonderful thing? After I spoke, they spoke no more. They waited for me. They drank at my words as the spring rains. What's the Beatles song? When I get older, losing my hair. Many years from now, will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? What do you think about getting old? Are you like the Who saying, hope I die before I get old? This idea of growing old, that somehow it's a curse, but Job has had had this hope that he would grow old graciously and that he would see just many golden years. And some of you in, in your old age, you're just so thankful for the years that God has given you and others will struggle. What's the, it's the Rolling Stones, isn't it? Their song, Don't Fade Away. We don't just want to, to fade away. I, I think one of the curses we have in, in Western society is how we don't appreciate our older people. I think a lot of that, to be honest, although euthanasia is talked about in terms of dealing with pain, and I'm sure for some people it is. In reality, people don't like the idea of not being in control. We don't like the idea of dementia. We don't like the idea of so many other things. And we would love to have, as Job says, to, to die in his bed, my days as numerous as the grains of sand. Well, Job, his desires were to live to an old age. He desired health, peace of mind, and dignity. Isn't that what every elderly person wants? Isn't it what every person wants? But isn't it what every elderly person wants? And isn't it something that, that we deserve? With health, with peace of mind, and with dignity. I hate it when old people are treated with disrespect and a lack of dignity. And then the other thing is, your children, you expect to die before your children. Job's children died before him. You know, when I, 10 years ago, as I say, I was seriously ill, and I thought, I'll probably write something about it this week. And it's had a profound effect on my life, but one story had a big effect. Um, I was told that my mother came down, and of course I wasn't conscious, I was in a coma, I was in a mess. I just looked absolutely horrific, and uh, it, my mother just walked away in tears. And that actually deeply moved me. How desperate to see your child so close to death. Job wanted to see his children. He wanted a long life. He wanted to remain fresh. Do you know what a joy we had this past weekend in having two of our grandchildren with us? Just, just a joy to have. And it's a, it's a blessing. You know, we're getting older to be able to see that. But this hasn't helped Job. 
Ecclesiastes 7 verse 10, do not say why were the old days better than these, for it is not wise to ask such questions. When times are but good, be happy, but when times are bad, consider. God has made the one as well as the other, therefore a man cannot discover anything about his future. Well, we don't know. We just don't know. Everyone wants to try and work out the future and we just don't know. But I tell you what there is here. There's a longing for health. There's a longing for peace. There's a longing for prosperity. There's a longing for a good death. There's a longing for eternity. There's a longing for beauty. And that is only fulfilled in the Christ who came at Christmas. So that did bring great joy to the whole world, from Australia to Scotland, from America to China, from the North Pole to the South Pole. The coming of Christ brought great joy to the whole world. And I'm going to leave you with uh, another example of a carol service I was at. Uh, this is St. Peter's, not St. Peter's in Dundee, but this is the St. Peter's in North Sydney. And you know what I loved about this joy to the whole world? First part is in, I think it was Cantonese rather than Mandarin. Uh, doubtless one of you will be able to tell me, one of our Chinese listeners. And then the rest of it was in English. And I loved in this church seeing that juxtaposition of, of different cultures worshipping. So, don't know where we'll be tomorrow, but hopefully see you then. Bye.